Hello everyone, welcome to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're working on a coolant tower. I'm going to show you guys how to check the float and see if the makeup water valve is engaging. Originally I got a service call that these ACs are not working for this server room. So you can see right here we we're off on high pressure. This is a LED indicating that we're off on high pressure. I put my gauges on the system and we I turned it on and within 30 seconds we popped on 425 head. This is a water cooled system and right away considering none of these ACs down the whole line are operating and what they have in common is water, you know, I figured that there's something wrong with the coolant tower. Right here we're reading 79 degrees, this is a sensor for the coolant tower, right? It came in this morning and that was reading 100 degrees. I'm going to show you guys a picture. Next, we went down, went up to the coolant tower, everything was running, the fans were running, yeah, this pump was running and we went down to the basement I, I checked the pumps everything was pumping everything was running but we had this high temperature and their water cooled machines were cutting off at least the ones that had high pressure controls in them uh, with that safety so uh, we came here and you know this thing I realized this thing was running dry so right over here is the makeup water so I opened up the bypass and this is the overflow so I opened up the, the bypass until water started overflowing the tower so I know for a fact that the tower is full went back to the sensor and we dropped 21 degrees in a matter of minutes so right now we have a 79 degree inlet temperature so why was the tower dry well there's 100% there's something wrong and what's going on here is that the water is not filling up automatically so I'm going to check the auto automatic water feed and, I, and I'm going to see if that's operating and if that is sending the signal to the makeup water solenoid to fill up this water fill up this tower manually so we're going to take a look into that I'm going to show you guys how that's done around the back got this cover open so this is the electronic water level control right here has a, has a sensor in this tube right here which senses the water level and the first things first you want to make sure is this thing getting power is there a trip breaker somewhere is there something going on so between L1 and L2 it says we have 120 volts so this is 120 volts so we're gonna check between those two so let's see this is power coming in all right so that's L1 it says on the board you guys can't see it and over here is L2 and right there we have 120 volts so we have power we do have a red light here, okay? I do see that we have some points we have normally open, normally closed, and a common. So it's connected to the normally closed. So, since we have a red light and nothing is, uh, uh, it's filling, the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna trick this sensor into telling, into giving us water. So I'm gonna undo these bolts right one two three four bolts i'm gonna pull out the sensor so it's not reading any water if it doesn't read any water the contacts in here should change and tell us okay we need water so let's switch over this and that's gonna send power to our solenoid and open up the automatic water valve so that's what we're gonna do here i'm gonna pull this out and we're gonna trick first we're gonna trick this into telling us we need water and see if this control is switching over if it's not the control is bad if it is doing its job we can we can put everything back 
Well, actually, I'm just going to leave it on the side hanging so it calls for water and make sure down on the other side if our solenoid is engaging for makeup water. <clears throat> Alright, so let's take this apart. We're going to hold back with one wrench, adjust the bolt, and undo the other. Oh, wow. It's very loose. But you know what? This is actually a plastic case, so I can see why. So we have a red light on here. And to me, and, and the tower's full, so that red light must mean we have water. So let's take this. Uh, is there somewhere safe to keep it? All right, right there. taken apart we do have an electrical whip here so we can lift this with everything connected so we are connected to a let's see we have a common and a normally closed so let's just check between those two and see what we have we have 120 volts all right we are closed Let's lift this up and see what happens. Right there, the light turned off. Okay, light is on and we have water in here so this is keeping us normally closed, right? We're gonna lift it up, pay attention to the light. Boom, right there, we switched over. Oh, there's soap on this probe. There's a bunch of dirt on it. That's not cool, but it is doing its its thing. So let's put this safely down. We don't want to damage this. The light just came on randomly. That's weird. Full of dirt. just to make sure with my meter that our circuits actually close just because the light went off doesn't mean you know it's sending power or not so let's see we have a voltage drop of 17 volts so oh no we have zero volts okay so these contacts did open so at that dirt on there i don't like that that's no good uh definitely want to get that cleaned up that could be an issue right there okay but then again it is doing its job this thing is full of soap in here i don't like that that's not cool well and this thing is getting a bit low at the moment but yeah this thing could definitely use a little cleaning so next things next we're gonna since this is doing its job right now since the light came off and it's sending power through this control that means down on the other side uh, that we should be we should have our solenoid engaged so let's go check that out Keep this thing safe, but I don't want anything to happen right there. All right, so we're calling. And our solenoid should be making up. Grab my meter. We're going to jump down. 
if I don't make it from here, if I don't make it back, guys, thank you for watching. And it was nice knowing y'all. <laughs> All right, so let's see. This is the bypass, what I had to open. All right, right here, this is our solenoid, this is the valve. Everything's open, all right? You never know, some dummy might have closed the freaking valve. Nah, we're good. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take off this cover, it's our solenoid. And we're gonna, this is a coil. So if it's being energized, we're gonna read voltage. So I'm gonna stick my meter in between there. And we're gonna see if we get voltage. The overflow is running, so there could be potential that we are open. Right. And of course that has to happen. So right there, that's a good place. So we're gonna take our meter. I'm gonna look for volts AC. And let's check between the two wires. So between there. get anything we have 120 volts so the flow is calling for so the electronic water valve is calling for water and it did send a voltage down to the solenoid our solenoid is engaged because we have 120 volts and now we need to make sure that this valve is actually opening and considering that I see water coming down it should be flowing. I want to keep an eye on this and make sure that it's going but you know I'm honestly I'm suspecting that the tower is not being filled up at the proper time because of the dirt on the sensor. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this, make sure this water keeps overflowing. And honestly, it's doing its job. It's doing what it has to do. Why is the tower not filling up? Well, maybe that the, the flow is acting up at times or this solenoid is not actually fully opening the water. And this thing is overflowing. So this is a little tricky one, but those probes are very dirty. I'm gonna start by definitely cleaning that up. But that's the process of how you check this and uh, give you guys an update. Alright, so we are without a doubt overfilling right now. You can see that. I went to go feed my meter and yeah, can't even question that. So I'm going to put everything back. Everything is operating properly. What I need to do now is clean this sensor and put it back. Okay. All right, right there, we have a much higher level. We're gonna clean this sensor. Uh, we're just gonna wipe it with a rag. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put everything back the way it is original. And once everything is back in place, I'm gonna manually dump the water in the tower. Okay, I'm gonna dump it manually and make sure this does its job automatically and keep a keep an eye on the sensor and make sure we have a good water temperature if we do then that was a problem it was just dirt and lack of maintenance so that's all that would be going on here and i believe that's what it is i'm gonna go reset all those uh, water cooled um, air conditioning units and uh, you know that's the story here all right so aside from the dirt you know Oh wow, look at that, now there's something else in here. Classic, come on. Aside from the dirt, you know, there's a lot of foam in here. 
So it could be a possibility that uh, the sensor is not only just dirty, it's, it's sensing the foam, okay? It's sensing the foam and it's telling the cooling tower that we're full when it's not, it's just foam, which we know rises to the top. So that's a possibility right there too, but either way, the tower just needs some maintenance and we're gonna clean this probe and uh, yeah.